welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel i am jamie beth today i am so excited we are going to do a giant makeup haul i have a box here just full of makeup that i have purchased over the last few weeks they are from like cvs from walgreens from ulta sephora and boxycharm pop up and what that is is every few months um boxycharm will have this sale and it's kind of like the Sephora VIB sale where you get um, products for, uh, you know, at a discounted rate. And with BoxyCharm pop-up, those products can be up to 80% off. So there are a lot of products that have been on my list that um, I was able to now purchase because I got such a great deal on them. So um, we are going to go ahead and dive right in. I am so excited to show you guys a lot of the stuff. And don't judge by how many new eyeshadow palettes I have because... Um, I know I just did a declutter and then I just probably purchased a quarter of those back. So I, you know, just don't judge. All right. So this is the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist. I've heard a lot of great things about this. Um, it is great for those no makeup makeup days where you just kind of want a little bit of radiance to your skin, but you don't want to like make it look oily. And this is a great little, um, mist to spray on those types of days or you can wear it underneath your makeup as like a primer um it does have a rose scent which i heard um isn't too overpowering so we'll see but that is the pixie um rose glow mist oh is this um really excited about this because i know um and if you are like me you have to go to a multiple like cvs's and walgreens to find all of the products that you're looking for because not all of them carry the same things um i did pick this up i was finally able to find the wet and wild loose highlighting powder powder and this is in the shade i'm so lit um, someone recommended that I try this and I did want to use it for my um, video a few weeks ago well, probably a little more than a few weeks ago where you guys picked my makeup um, and I wasn't able to find this so I'm really excited that I finally found it and I'm able to give it a try this I'm super excited about this is the Varsali liquid powder um, serum it is for people with um, oily skin and it's supposed to help blur and combat that oil all day long so we'll see how this works I'm really excited to try it I did get it um, from Sephora and I did get a discount on it um, because it is over $50 and I just couldn't find myself to pay that much money for something like this I do have and I don't know they do have minis of the Varsali um, stuff, but they didn't have a mini of this one. So I did have to wait for it to be on sale before I could purchase it. But I am really excited to give it a try. So moving along, I'm just gonna grab a, a few of these things out of here. Um, oh, this I opened just because I was so curious and I wanted to swatch it. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow, and I got the shade at first blush, so I'm really excited to give this liquid eyeshadow a try. I did swatch it. It is so beautiful. I am really, really excited about that. Next is this. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. It's supposed to be a really hydrating foundation. It's supposed to last quite a while on your skin. It is not said to be full, full coverage, but a more medium coverage. Um, and it's perfect for like summer um, weather when you don't want a super thick, heavy foundation on. And I kind of like foundations not to be super heavy and thick regardless of the weather. But um, this is supposed to be a really good foundation. I can't wait to give it a try. I bought, I bought Nude Beige. So I'm going to be trying this real soon because I think this is more of a darker shade and I do have a little bit of a tan still so we're gonna go ahead and try that at a later date I'm really excited about that I did also pick up these because these were on sale at my CVS these are the CoverGirl um, true blend concealers and I bought a light concealer and a dark concealer I used the dark one to contour and the light one to conceal so I did um, stock up again on those because I was getting a little bit low and those are some of my favorite concealers I did also pick this up at CVS this is the luminous lash paradise liquid eyeliner I do really like the lash paradise mascara so I'm excited to try the lash paradise liquid liner and see how that works I will be doing a video Video on some of these products I'm just gonna grab some of the products out that I can do a full face on if you guys want 
me to um, test anything out or do a video out on anything specific that I grab out of this box, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do that. But again, I cannot wait to try this um, liquid eyeliner. So next up is this, and this is from, this I must have gotten from the BoxyCharm pop-up thing. Um, it is the Realer I Am Strong Definer Eyebrow Pencil. It is one of those like little, just slim eyebrow, slim brow pencils, which I like. I'm all about the slim brow pencils. So I'm really excited to give that one a try. Next up is this one right here. This is the Milk Makeup um, Gel Eyeliner, Longwear Gel Eyeliner. I've heard some good things about this um, liner. I did purchase the shade called CEO. It is kind of a dark brown shade. I do want to try using different shades of eyeliner than just black. So I'm going to try the brown and see how that looks. But I am really excited to give this a try because I've heard good things about it. The next thing up are these right here. And again, something I've heard great things about and I was able to get them at a discounted price. These are the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liners. I got the shades rose shimmer and pink champagne shimmer so just some light pink shades both of these shades are gorgeous i'm really excited to try them i think i'm saying i'm really excited about everything because i really am but maybe I should stop saying it every time i talk next up are these these are a plush lipstick by fenty beauty i've been trying to i've been wanting to try more fenty beauty products and with that boxy charm pop-up there was a ton of products that were marked down to next to nothing. So I was able to grab a few things um, from Fenty Beauty and give it a try. And the lipsticks were one of them. I, um, how cute the packaging is on these. So this one's called Clap Back. And it's kind of um, a dark, dark blue color. Isn't that beautiful? I picked this color just because um, I am doing a, kind of like an ice queen, Halloween costume this year and that blue is gonna be like perfect for the costume that I am creating for Halloween and um, The next shade I picked was called thick and I'll do a little swatch of that one I do like how these have FB in there But this is thick. It's just kind of like a mauve um, Pinky shade. It's very beautiful. These are very creamy um, foundation art foundations. Oh my gosh. These are very creamy lipsticks. So I'm excited to give those a try. The next up is this. This is the Velvet Lip Protector by Clarins. It's supposed to be like really smooth on the lips, supposed to last long, supposed to um be matte, but not like super like harsh and gross on your your lips it's supposed to be nice and comforting and hydrating so here is that shade right down here it is beautiful just a perfect nude shade next up is this this is the natural defense finishing powder by physicians formula and it is just a pressed powder i've been wanting to use a few, um more physicians formula because i do love the butter browns or i do love the butter blushes but I wanted to try like some more of their products. So I picked this up. I do like using pressed powder um, along my under eye and anywhere I put my concealer and then I put loose powder everywhere else. But I cannot wait to give this one a try and see how that works out. Next thing I got was from Sephora and this was um, a duo set. It's the Marc Jacobs duo set and it um, is a bronzer. I swatched it and made a mess, so that's why it looks like that, and the mascara. So I was able to get this for on sale for next to nothing again, but I've always wanted to try some Marc Jacobs products, and I um, can't bring myself to pay all that money for their full-size products, so I was excited to get a little bit, a little mini duo set here. Next thing um, that I got and I'm really excited about is this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi Sculpting Concealer. Nothing new, everybody knows about this, but it's been on a list of mine for a long time and I was able to get it in my BoxyCharm box. Um, this is the shade Swan, which was I think one of the lightest shades they had. There wasn't a whole lot of shades to choose from, but um, you could choose which shade you wanted um, sent to you. So I chose this one. So I'm excited to give this a try. 
Um, heard a lot of great things about it. I know there was a lot of buzz about it for a while, so I do want to give that a, a shot and see um, how it works for me. The next thing is also a Too Faced product, and it is the Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Setting Powder. And I, again, want to give this a try. I don't think this is new, or maybe this did just come out. Anyways, I was able to get it on the Sephora website at a discounted price. Um, and I'm really excited to give that a try because I do like um, using the, I do like testing out powders. And if you guys want me to do a, a video on my favorite setting powders, um, let me know and I will do that. Um, this is the Ardell Magnetic Liner and Lash. So what this is, is a liner that you put on and then the eyelashes have little magnetic like strips on them and they stick right to that eyeliner so anywhere you put that eyeliner the lashes stick to it so I'm really excited to give those a try and see how that works um I have this is a gel what I've seen is pencils or pens the liquid eyeliner pen so I don't know how easy this is going to be to apply but um I do want to give it a try and I did see it in my CVS so I'm like eh, what the heck let's give that a try moving along to this this is the Kate Somerville um D scar scar diminishing serum so it's a little pen with like a little roller ball on it and you're supposed to put it over scars that you have and it will help reduce or diminish the um, appearance of the scar. The scar is still always gonna be there, but it helps to reduce the appearance of scars and uneven texture. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I do have a scar going right down my lip um, across my cupid's bow, so I don't really have a cupid's bow like everyone else because that scar goes right there. And I do have some other scarring from surgeries and whatnot, so I'm excited to give this a try and see how it works out. Some of these products you're going to see me review on my Facebook blog, so if you um, haven't been over to my blog yet, go on to Facebook and type in Jamie Beth Beauty Reviews and it should bring up my page. And then just like and follow that page. And every Monday I do a Monday makeup review. Oh, so if again, you guys wanna see, um, I know there's gonna be a lot of these products that you're not gonna see in a video, but I will review on that site. So head on over there and check that out. And the next thing up is Grace and Stella. This is a, um, cleaning system for your skin, kind of like a Clarisonic, I believe. So here is what it looks like. It's kind of like that Clarisonic thing. So I'm excited to give this a try. It was, um, I got a great deal on this from it being on that BoxyCharm pop-up. So I'm really excited to give it a try because I know that Clarisonic is so expensive and then you have to buy all the little different heads and whatnot for it. So I was excited to have something like it to give it a try and not have to spend an arm and a leg to get it. So I can't wait to give that a try. This will be something I definitely review on my site. Moving along, I did purchase some brushes. I got some new Morphe blending brushes as well as this little set from Luxie. I love Luxie brushes. I don't know what it is about these brushes. I just think they are so well made. I absolutely love them as much as I love my Morphe brushes. Morphe, you can get at any Ulta store. Um, you can also purchase it online. Um, but Morphe brushes are phenomenal. And these are like my two favorite brushes. So I think that you can never have too many um, brushes. So I always try to buy some if I can get them for you know, cheap prices. The next thing that I want to show you guys is this. Again, I was able to get a lot of like cool Fenty Beauty products. Um, and this, I'm so excited. This is their um, loose glitter, I believe. It's the all over metallic powder set. So here is what this looks like. So it comes in this little box. You open up the box. It's so beautiful. And you have all these little glitters in here. There's a whole bunch of different shades. There's a beautiful blue glitter in here. There's a purple one. There are a whole bunch of beautiful shades of glitter in this box. There are seven glitters in this. And again, they're all beautiful shades. Um, I do, oh, here's, here are all the shades that are in the box. So you got a purple, there's a blue, there's a green, there's a, a dark, almost like a black one. There's a red. There's a gold, there's just a beautiful array of loose powders in this box. I can't wait to play with these. So moving along to palettes. I was able to pick up these two palettes and the brand is a brand I've never heard from. It's called Kenya, 
I can't, I don't know if I'm really going to say this, Antivirus Beauty. So, um, I've never heard of them, but let me tell you something. These are some beautiful face palettes. I have swatched these palettes. As you can see, my little fingerprints are in them. But this one is the um, Blush and Shine Kit. And these are gorgeous, gorgeous. You've got some blushes, you've got some highlights, and these are just absolutely beautiful. Very, very well made. The next one is the, um, this is the Set and Defined Kit. And this is your setting powders. There is another little highlight on the end here. And you have your contour and bronzing shades at the bottom. And again, very, very, very well made product here. I, as you can see, I, I have used these. I've used both of these palettes. I love how beautiful and blendable the, these um, bronzing powders are. These setting powders set your skin so it, it looks nice and smooth and your makeup stays on all day. I mean, again, I've never heard of this brand, but this brand needs to be talked about a lot more. We need to get it on the scene here because I think everyone is going to fall in love with it. Moving along to eyeshadow palettes. Um, a lot of these palettes, again, I got in the BoxyCharm pop-up, so they were like a few bucks. I mean, they didn't cost much at all um, as to why I bought them. And then I got a few from Ulta. I got a couple online from ColourPop. I got um, a new palette that I saw another uh, YouTuber mentioned that I had to have when I saw it. So I did purchase that one. We'll talk about it in just a minute. The first one I want to talk and show you guys is this. This is the Viseart or Visart. I think it's Viseart Professional Makeup. Um, this is the Petite Pro Palette. And I got this one just because, actually because of one color that's in it that I thought looked really cool. So here is that and it opens up this way. It's kind of like a little book. And here's what it looks like. I think this is a really cute, tiny, perfectly, uh, perfect palette to travel with. So, I mean, you can totally create a bunch of looks with this palette. So that's another reason why I bought it because I like to um, try to pack as light as possible and I want little palettes that can do multiple looks. Um, to travel with so this I think is going to be perfect to travel with next one up is this one right here It's a ColourPop palette. I do love ColourPop um, Palettes, I think they are so well made and I do like their tiny palettes that have just like the nine pans in them I think these are such well made um, palettes. I think the formulation on them is always on par for each one I've never had a bad color of pop palette. This one again is the she's got solstice palette It's kind of like a pinky peachy type of palette. It's really gorgeous It's even prettier in person than it is online and I'm so very excited. I have one the next palette is this one This is by a company called Odin's eye and it's their Freya palette and this is what it looks like. I saw another YouTuber talking about it during their declutter um, video and uh, they kept this. They did not declutter it but I was like oh my gosh what is this brand and what is this beautiful gorgeous palette. Um, so it, it is a nice like kind of neutral um, palette. The plastic is still on it but you guys can see the shades it is just gorgeous there's some mauves there's some pinks oh here here we go there we go now you guys can see it a little bit better but there's some mauves there's some pinks there's some browns it's just like a beautiful overall neutral palette i believe i can make a lot of eye looks with this um the youtuber that had this mentioned in their video just absolutely loved the formulation so it was a brand that I've never heard of and I was intrigued so I purchased it and this was um, this again is the Freya palette by Odin's Eye. The next palettes I'm going to talk about and I'm so excited that I have these and it's another brand that I really 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 love. It's from BH Cosmetics and it is their Sweet Shop palettes. So I bought I think there's one one or two more of these but I bought these ones and um, again these are going to come great for some of the Halloween looks that I'm going to be creating for my Halloween uh, uh, stuff down the road. But here is the first BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop. This is the Bubblegum Palette. Look at these blues. 
they're gorgeous. I mean, they they are so stunning. Um, uh, here, let me. I'm gonna swatch one or two or maybe all of them. Let me. I'm gonna swatch this one right here. Here, I'm gonna swatch it right here. And I'm gonna swatch this blue one too because it's just they're just both gorgeous. But there is the bubblegum palette, and there are those two shades right there. Oh, can you see them? Hopefully you can see them. They're, they're really light, but they're gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I have this. I cannot wait to create a fun look using this palette. The next um, Sweet Shop palette that I got was the Orange Sherbet. And you guessed it, guys, it's a bunch of orange shades. I do not have any shades anywhere near like these ones. So I am really, really excited that I have this palette. Let me swatch some of these. There's a lot of like um, shimmer shades up top and then more matte shades on the bottom. But we're going to, um, we're going to just swatch some of these. So there are those orange shades right there. Aren't they beautiful? They're just so vibrant and gorgeous. I can, again, I cannot wait to play with this. I just thought these was were such beautiful palettes when I bought them. I wasn't going to get them at first and then I just couldn't help myself. I, I had to have them. Last Sweet Shop palette that I purchased is this one. This is the Cherry on Top and you can probably guess what shades these are. They're nice little hot pink shades. They are beautiful. So we got some beautiful gorgeous shimmery pink shades up top and some more matte ones at the bottom. Again, can't wait to play with these. Let me, I gotta, I gotta swatch this one pink shade right here for you. You guys have got to see this. Where can I put this? Here, right here on my hand. So look at that. Look at that shade here. I'm going to do one more because I can't help myself. Or maybe two more here. So here's a lighter pink one. And then this. So there you go. Look at those pink shades. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. So excited about these palettes. Oh my gosh. They just make me happy. I love it when palettes make me happy. I was so happy when I bought them and they turned out as beautiful, if not even more beautiful in person than they were online. So the next palette that we're going to show you guys is this one. This is the Marc Jacobs palette and is their iconic palette now i paid i think 18 dollars for this palette yes i did paid 18 dollars, and i think these palettes are probably 50 or 60 dollars i don't know they're expensive um but i always wanted to or um own a mark jacobs palette and i finally have one if i can get it out of the dang box but look at this here it is it has like a shimmery top um, to it and let me show you what the colors look like I'll remove the protective coating and it's just some simple like neutral um, warm shades or some glitter in there and again this is, would be a great palette to travel with because it's little it's you know thin it'll fit great in a bag and you're it's not bulky and big um, and you can create again a multitude of looks from it. So the last palette that I have to show you is this one. It's by Morphe. It is their 35C Everyday Chic Palette. Um, one thing I do like about this is their I don't know if they're going back to their old packaging, but they're, this is a plastic packaging. It isn't the cardboard packaging that they usually use. Um, this is uh, what they had a long time ago i mean i've been buying morphe products for years and years and years and they've always had this type of packaging so i'm really kind of excited that it's in that i just think it's a little more sturdy and i think the makeup lasts a little longer so here's what that palette looks like it is a nice big kind of neutral palette it has some pinks in there on um, this beautiful green color um just some everyday perfect looks i mean this wouldn't be a bad travel palette either because it is thin. It can fit in your bag nice and easily. Um, but I do love this palette. When I saw it, I just fell in love with it and I couldn't help myself. I had to buy it. So that is, that's all I can say. I'm so sorry. I know. Don't judge, please. I have an obsession. 
So that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the products that I had to show you from my huge makeup haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, as well as the notification bell next to it to be notified of all of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!